Yes, my people, you not know, be smart, you know. When I know say for some time, I would always they talk and hear say, man, Nigeria pastors and then be the problem of Nigeria. But some people go say, go and sit down. What did you know? You don't know anything. You are a small boy. <laughs> I will just they laugh. Make a shock, you know. Nigeria churches and Nigeria that the Jews and now they turn Nigeria upside down. You understand? I know say some people will still come across this video now. They will still condemn her. You understand? Now? The reason why they read this news, if you see waiting this Reverend Father come and come talk, about Nigeria churches, about Nigeria Christians. This one I not be saying now no person or now Romi Peking. Make one come here waiting this Reverend Father come and come talk concerning Nigeria Christians. The man say 2023 election they come now. Instead, when most of them go go get their voters card ready, say they go there inside church, they will begin to pray. He said, Well, that now be the time we be saying, guys, make one enjoy ourselves with this video. Why I go see you now for the ending of this video? No matter how we pray about problems of the world, problems of society, God will not come down to do it. God will not do it till he find men and women he can use. And this is where Christians have made a lot of mistakes. And sir, we've prayed for you and all that. But election come, Christians will not get their voters card. They won't register. They won't vote. They are busy praying. How is God going to come down to do that? Is it supposed to be the election? Or maybe when you finish praying about finance, you won't go and work. You're expecting God to come down for him and rain. If he rains money, it's counterfeit. Huh? Faith must be matched with work. For any faith that lacks work, that faith is important. That faith is dead. It will accomplish nothing. Belief and convictions must be backed by actions. This is where the church has failed. God will do it. God will do it. God will not do it. Look at our country. It will prove that to you. Well, maybe one of the greatest praying countries. And we're not downplaying prayer. We need to do that. There's communication between the head and the body. But once my head makes a decision, I want to drink water. Just watch now. My head makes a decision. I need to drink water. The body needs hydration. It is not the head that goes to get the water. Look at who is going. It is leg that is carrying me here. It is hand that takes the water, opens it, and feeds it to the head so it can go to the body. Do you see? Once my head decides now, I need to go shopping, shop right. He has done the job of leadership, but is now the body, the organ created to execute the decision of the head that will have to now go into implement the church role is to be the implementing arm of heaven's policies did you see all the discussions today in the first segment of the service on what is happening with our youths and teenagers and all that god had to his broken courtesy all the things that are going wrong now god now wants schools christian schools outreaches to the young people outreaches to go and build back the standard of education the standard of morality vocational training for our youth is god going to come down to do it wait for a thousand years it won't happen until god's people realize that god's will must become our command I have issues even my men of cloth like me clergymen many don't understand this that's why nigeria is sinking the destiny of this country is in the hand of the church over a hundred million christians how can we not produce president what is wrong over 100 million christians God will do it. God will build our roads. God will repair our schools. We, there's nothing we don't pray for here. We pray for rain, we pray for water, we pray for gutter. God will come and clean the gutter. We pray for the, the rubbish in our streets. God will come and clean the streets. If we don't do it, it will never be done. Go make disciples of all nations the irresponsibility the disobedience of the church it 
costing heaven more so much and costing us and costing the whole society a lot that's why i'm on a crusade on church reformation because we have to get pastors right for more because the Union city alone can't do this no matter how i try And that's why I also believe that if God gives us funds, that fund is not only for Dominion City. We have to find other people that understand what it takes across board and help them. The ones that have the money, leave them. The ones that don't. It's called co-mission. Great co-mission. Co is corporate mission. The corporate responsibility of all believers the joint responsibility of God's people what am I saying to you all that the purpose of God depends on the people of God if he doesn't get them to cooperate with him his purpose remains undone and that's why many times a lot of things are going wrong and people are wondering is there still God in heaven and God said I'm there but their head is helpless without his body and just like a man cannot have a child without his wife that's how Jesus today can carry out his will on the earth without the church and no leader can succeed without the cooperation of his team you can even have a good president get us the best if every other person is corrupt you know they say leadership just one leader is all we need no it's, it's not just one leader we need good leaders across board just at least it doesn't mean you have to get everybody right but if you get a core group who are committed to doing what is right then they can begin to set the example and punish those that are deviants and then more people will align reward those that are performance reward those that are good and punish the ones that are corrupt then everybody will shift to the side of good so guys i also now enjoy myself with that video and i see waiting this reverend father come and come talk the man come and come clear the air he come and come shake center table and everything will be like say this man talk for this video everything is 100 percent real the man they are curate no plus no minus you understand because not only nigeria as you say then you see building and fire just enter building now instead when they go find solution instead when they will call fire service they go they pray okay now tell me now god one from heaven can quench that fire now only nigeria you go see say somebody when need medical attention somebody when they suppose carry go hospital they will keep them for inside house they go they pray for that person fine i not condemn and say pray i not be real. you go to pray but before you go start to the pray, it's like somebody when he's not well now, when he be say man, he need medical attention. That person may not make sure so when I carry and go to hospital first. Then if I tell him I want to pray, when I go meet him for that hospital build, when I go pray for him for that. Make doctor fair go treat him, make if I go examine himself, waiting be the problem. Fine, spiritual attack, not real, you understand. But because many people out of ignorance, many people don't be a real for Nigeria. People won't be say. They're not even supposed to be a real people out of ignorance. Believe me, not be say God, not they are aware of people when they be a real people. Now you're all ignorant. Now they make many people they be a real people. You understand? Because somebody when be say supposed go hospital now. When he go stay for inside one church, when be say, even the same church, the past, who, who claim to be pastor and a native doctor, go they pray for you. And if that same pastor is sick, in go carry yourself, go hospital. Some go even go UK, go Dubai, go Saudi Arabia, go India, go treat their self. <laughs> Where then go they tell you, say, believe God, they believe our faith before you know. <laughs> well, guys, make it not be like say, I to talk, I to waste on our time. This other video they come from popular apostle John C. Suleiman. When I know say Apostle John C. Suleiman, this man, you know, they quit talk, you know, they quit shakes and table. Me and you know, say anything will be like, say, man, this man takes shakes and table. <laughs> that video, and they always they shut down. The reason why they read this news, when I know say many pastors, they will be say, they shall be collect from members, but they not shall be give. They shall be use right hand, they take from members, but they not shall be use left hand, they give their members. You understand? Then they very, very staging, me and you know, there are many for Nigeria, home and abroad. 
Only waiting they know na their pocket na serve them. Now Apostle John says, "Will man come let us know?" Now say, "Him not they tolerate pastors when be say me they stinging. Him not they do things with pastors when be say them they stinging. Him not they like pastors when be say me they they stinging." Say as a pastors, as far as they feel they collect, they receive, still learn how to give. Guys, when I watch this video, eh, I was so shocked. I like say, "Man, now oh Apostle John says, "Will man come and come give this message?" The message they very very powerful. You understand? Now make me bring and come here, make I come show my viewers. My followers, my subscribers, you understand? Well, for those of now, when be say, I go play this full video. For those of now, when be say, now they always they watch me, you know, they contribute, you know, they contribute to this community, you know, they always they make and grow, you know, do well, you understand? And to all my returning subscribers, God go continue to bless all of now. Well, guys, make I live now with this very video, make I enjoy now. Say, why I go see you now for the next update coming out soon. Respect, one love, guys. I can't stand pastors who are not givers. Stingy pastors are witches. I'm telling you the truth. If you see a stingy pastor, he's a wizard. Any pastor that doesn't give, it turns me off. It turns me off. Collect, collect, collect. You are Melchizedek. Collect, 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 collect. Ah! What? I believe in giving. If you are not a man who sows seed, you can succeed. So I believe in giving. But sir, ministry is not about money. You take 25 offerings on one Sunday. What is your problem? Are you a herbalist? Thanksgiving offering, intercession offering, confirmation offering, prophetic offering, deliverance offering, testimony offering, <laughs> rema offering. What's going on? One of my son invited me to his church. I got there. I sat down. No joke. Nine offerings. I was just looking at him. I said, Oh, this guy's dead. 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 This guy. Now, do you know? Let me tell you something. You see this? You see this? It's okay. It's to run the church. It's not to run the pastor. Understand that. Listen, if you're a pastor and you think this is what helps you to survive, you'll be so poor. When you are honest, People are not stupid. People can pick sincerity. When you are honest and people can see that transparency, don't ask. They'll give. Don't ask. Some pastors are silent.